Okay, so we're going back to our roots here, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to play some Minecraft, specifically a town building mod pack called Life in the Village 3. Call this YouTube. Uh, game rule. That is a lot of rules. Uh, we will go with village life as the name or the seed for the world. Hopefully this doesn't crash. I've been having issues with Minecraft and it crashing. Just recently I actually upgraded my RAM to 32 gigs and it's still, still just basically being like, no, not having it. Preparing for world creation. Because, yeah, it's like I'm now running a 2060 upgraded to 32 gigahertz for memory and went from 16 gigs to 32. My original, not gigahertz, megahertz, and the original speed was like 2666, so. It's like stuff should, depending on mod pack size and that, work out a wee bit better. Three, five, seven. Ooh. It's loading, ladies and gentlemen. It is loading. I don't have everything set up for my controls, though, to be able to, like, pause this and then come back and deal with my video editing. Although, I might try getting that in today if I get time. By the way, did I turn my feet on, food on? <clears throat> oh, hello. Tinker's workshop. Alchemist, Builder Digger, So the question is, which way... Is that another village up to the north? Oh shit, 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 shit. Please don't hate me, guys. Ooh, bees. <gasps> and nope. I'm in my outfit. But am I already wearing pants? Yeah, leather pants. Interesting. Dog inventories? Nutrients? Uh okay. So apparently I have to worry about like individual food types. Didn't really go looking into this pack. It was just one of the ones that looked like it could be interesting. So yeah, it does have create. It doesn't really have much in the way of tech, but that's fine. Uh, 
I don't know how long this series is going to be going on for. It might just be in general to show off some of the stuff in the pack and stuff like that. And, and just be happy. What the hell is this? Loot obsidian, a golden sword, golden apple. Damn, man. Nice find. Like, I want an area that's cleared out a wee bit because it is mine colonies. Which means I am either going to need the supply ship, or where is the wagon? Why am I not seeing the wagon? Oh, supply camp, which is just, yeah, five chests. So it shouldn't be that that bad. It's just trying to find a place to call home. That's kind of the first key Tasmanian devil. You are adorable. I found Taz. Oh god, is that one of those like uh giant Pillager houses? Because that could be problematic for me. And I've been playing, I think, Sky Factory 4 on stream a bit, but it's mainly No Man's Sky is what I've been mainly playing. Apothecary? Oh man, this house is huge. This this is not just an apothecary house, like Okay, yeah, they don't want me there. <laughs> We're uh gonna get away from there. Okay, and Aspen Grove, it's a little less dense forest wise, which is much, much easier to work with. Bees. Look at the bees, 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 bees. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. That could have been very, very bad. I feel like a port town would be kind of cool. But it's just trying to find... Because it's like, I don't want to expand my village to the point where it's like I'm getting attacked by slimes falling out of the sky. That's just... That's just kind of a pain. In that apothecary place, like, I'm not fully sure on it at this point, either. Yeah, I'll probably come and build over here. We'll build the supply depot in the water. 
kind of get started from there. Biggest issue though is that this is hills. Like it's a nice aspen grove, which just the hills. I'm not gonna make this an easy thing to build on. Okay, so a wee bit more. Like, maybe over there to get started, and then, like, I can kind of build up into the hills, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, I have no issues building in the hills. It's just I kind of don't want it to basically be where it's, like, yeah, bridge right over, and then right into hills. Well, if I would, it's not even, like, any type of special forest. It's just forest. Like... Okay. Come on, seriously, like, what is with all the slimes? I don't want slimes to be stupidly close. Like, I think I find a nice spot, and then it's like, nope. Not allowed. <sighs> This is the reason why I kind of wish I had the ability to pause easily without having to switch to whole other setups at this point. That's why I like the ability to run. It's just the fact that it's limited behind food. Which, I kind of get why they went with that route, but it's still a pain, nonetheless. Okay, I think... Because it looks like there's a little beach area just over here in this Taiga spruce forest that I'm in. Oh my god, seals! You are adorable! Even though you are kind of blocky, but whatever. You are still bloody adorable. And there's seashells. And okay. Supply ship, so I need boats. Okay. Let's get started. Of course, first thing being first, the good old fashioned crafting table. Although I feel like I might have to club a couple seals, but hopefully I don't have to. I'd feel kind of bad about that. Is that a killer whale climbing on land? I question this game sometimes. In my own sanity. One, two, three, four, and
Okay. Never actually bothered with the ship one. I typically always go with the uh, wagon. So town hall and build tool. Okay. Nothing. Nothing and nothing. Anything up here? Dude, that's kind of fun to explore this kind of stuff, right? And it's just the uh, crow's nest. Okay, that is fair. Sleep! Okay, a little fly. Come on. No, well, I guess that works. That's one way of dealing with it. Um. Okay, this is going to require a good clean out. I feel. That is perfectly fine, I guess. Uh, no, oh, create new colony. Soon the first settlers, if there's enough space around the tent. Boons governors can turn off these whole okay. Uh drop off a normal scale Minecraft inventory first unlocked the map. Okay. You guys are really annoying. And I know I'm going to need a builder set, which means I need... No, wait. I have everything. What the hell am I doing? Um, builder set requires a door. Using the building tool, okay. Apparently it just holds the items, cool.
Was it because I was just too close to something? Ah, yes. Dark Oak Fortress. <laughs> Based on... In can jungle lost medieval dark oak medieval spruce. There we go. Uh, where the hell is the entrance though for this thing? None. Access it by clicking. Uh, make sure to check out all the builders' pages. Some buildings have extra help pages. Here you. Okay. So manage workers. Okay. For quarters. So it'd be like what manage workers? Nope. I think I gotta come over here. Oh, build options. So build. Okay. Yeah, I'm not exactly fully sure on mine colonies. Like, I think this is like the second time I've actually tried using it. Build options. Build building. Oh, manage workers. If I remember right, they tell me what the heck they need. Or at least they should. Okay, so he needs shears. That's... Uh, I'm gonna need more iron. Okay. So first, I'm gonna need to get my hands on a pickaxe, and then I'm gonna have to try to get some iron going. Okay. Because right now, getting... What I need is going to be first and top priority. So it doesn't matter on how hard getting uh, some of the stuff is going to be. Although, to be fair, it's Minecraft. It's not like getting stone and iron is very hard. So it's copper, but I can't mine copper because they don't have the correct pickaxe. Okay. Because I need stone for that.
Little orca whale there. Okay. We're up the stone! Took us like 25 minutes to set up camp, but... It is something, at least. It's better than having absolutely nothing. So copper is base game Minecraft? Kind of curious to know when the hell that happened. Like, I know they switched it to dropping ores like this, like mods do, but instead of uh, just straight up blocks, which to me is a nice change. Is there any way I can find out where? Iron spawns. Nope. Okay. Yay, texture issues. I know those way too well. Okay. So. does look like I am currently better off just straight up digging Is there anything over here? So I don't want to just use just my stone pick though, because like it would be faster. The main issues are though is like I'm just gonna burn through my picks faster. That would be a shame. Okay, apparently something's just going around killing all my colonists. <laughs> yeah, it's uh not good. That is Lush caves. Um, I don't really see anything. Yeah, I love how they allow you to put the torch in your hand, but it doesn't actually do anything for you. Uh, okay, so that way is a dead end. Like there's some more copper. But that's basically it. Uh. 
Man, I'm just killing all. I guess that's what happens when I'm digging in the middle of the night instead of protecting my people, right? It's like they're just gonna die. How much further can I get down? Because it's like iron has to be at like what, 25? Like I'm at 34. Well, at this point, I should probably go back up and just sleep. Get my colonists to stop dying on me. Tad bit annoying, but eh. Like, what the hell's going on? Witches. Witches and creepers. Oh, bloody hell. Anyways. Uh, that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do for... At least today. I'll figure out how I'm going to protect my people at this point. But yeah, we will see, we will see, and hopefully in the next video of this, we can find some iron. So, till then, bye-bye for now.